So the other day I was trying to update the firmware of my goggles and I got confused at the beeping and so I powered them off too early. So now what you're seeing is what happens when you boot up the goggles when they're bricked. They go to the avatar boot screen and then this screen with the goggles and the two VTXs. This is about real time, so we're like 30 seconds after turning them gone. And then eventually we'll start hearing the beeping that's coming up. I emailed Cadix and shared this video with them and they replied this that they were in fact bricked and that I was going to need to take them apart and flash them. So I have this TTL adapter, micro USB to regular USB adapter so I can plug my thumb drive in and here we go. First thing I did was download the latest firmware, put it onto a thumb drive that was clean, and I renamed it walksnail-upgrade-cirrus-0.0.0.1.image. So taking the UFL connectors off was a real big pain in the butt, but I just kind of went slow and eventually got them off. I was labeling them. started the three pins onto the board so that I could connect the USB to TTL adapter. I had to connect the RX to the TX on the goggles, the TX on the TTL to the RX on the goggles, and then the ground from the connector to the goggles. And I had to make sure the jumper was on the 3.3 volts on the TTL connector. I set up my air purifier um, so that I could put my goggles on it and it would blow air over it because I didn't have any other fan to do it. I was nervous about doing this because I just have a MacBook. It's an M1 MacBook Pro, so I had to have a USB-C to USB-A dongle and then I plugged the USB TPL adapter in via that. I got on the YouTube video and double checked all the ports were correct and then held U down as I powered the goggles on and it started. But the first time it started it aired out um, pretty quickly and I was pretty nervous about that but I realized I didn't flash or reformat the thumb drive when I started so I wondered if maybe I reformatted it and started with a fresh thumb drive if that would help. So I did that. I'm reformatting. Uh, I also wanted to copy and save all that just in case this didn't work so I could send it off to tech support. Here the flash was successful and so I am powering off and powering back on. The video didn't really say what to wait for, so I didn't want to power it off too quick. So I just waited for it to get to some dialogue on the screen that just kept repeating the same thing over and over again. And then I powered it off and went to putting it back together. I 
grab my iPad and look at the video to double check what antennas plugged in where. Again, there were four, and I thought I labeled them right when I brought them out, but I think I did mislabel two of them, so having that picture in the video was helpful. And I'll link to that video in the description below. back together they powered on it was great I got my drone I bound them to my drone and it looks good and here's what it looks like now that it boots up and isn't breaking anymore <laughs>